Hey everybody, this is Robin with Stamp with Dr. Robin. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator in beautiful San Diego, California, where it's in the low 80s. It's actually quite nice, a little bit of a breeze. And if you can tell by my little hoarse voice here, I am getting over a cold. Not just any cold, I caught the dreaded COVID again, but I'm feeling much better. And as of today, I am testing negative. So I'm very happy with that. What I'm not happy about is that I gave it to my husband and this is the first time he's had it. So I guess that's pretty good for him for going all this time and not having COVID. But we are getting better and hopefully, if, hey Roz, you found me. Yeah, you can tell by my voice I'm not 100% yet, but I'm definitely getting better. Um, you might be hearing something going on in the background too because this week wasn't bad enough with COVID. Our um, water heater decided to blow itself up and a bunch of water downstairs and now the guys are down there tearing apart, I think, every wall that's within 20 feet of our hot water heater because we needed more fun today or this week. Actually, that happened on Friday. So um, I'm glad you guys could join me. Oh, no Roz, no baby yet. Um, she's tired of being pregnant. She's off work now. It's due August 7th, so I'm still on baby watch. Um, so that's what's new about here. We had a nice little visit with my son's dog for two weeks because he was traveling halfway around the world. So he had a nice time and we had a nice time with our grand dog. So let's see, what's new in Stamping World? I think it's the same stuff as the last couple of weeks, which is now is a good time to buy because for every $50 you spend, you get a $5 coupon to spend in August. And if you're a demonstrator, what comes in August is our new catalog. And so if you are a demonstrator, Hopefully you've looked online. Um, this is gonna be a really fun catalog. It's called our September through December catalog. It has a lot of Christ mostly Christmas stuff, a little bit of autumn stuff. We all notice there are no um, Halloween items in the new catalog. So if you want Halloween, you've gotta go look at the online exclusives. That's where they are. Hey Mary, welcome, welcome. Um, and then they also um, told us all demonstrators that there's gonna be even more um, online um, Halloween stuff, including some DSP, which we don't have yet. So be watching for that coming up, I believe, not till 1st of September, but uh, don't hold me to that. Um, the other thing going on is our glass mat. You guys know how much fun I've had um, with my glass mat, I just keep it on all the time. And um, hopefully all of you guys can get one now too before they run out. So I'm gonna put you down. This is gonna be a little bit of a quick class because as you can tell by my voice, it's not gonna last that long. And sometimes I kind of just start coughing when I've been talking too long, so. We are gonna to try to make this a not too long class. So this is the Labeled with Love bundle that we are gonna be using today. It's on page 58 um, in the catalog. I just wanna show you this in the catalog. I decided to get the punch, but Stampin' Up! has done this new thing with both this and the um, keeping tabs right next, right next to it, which is you can get the punch in the bundle or you can get a set of three dies all the same but the die you know some people wanted to get to the dies because they thought it would be easier to make like you know this card with the three cutouts and um i like myself a good label punch so that's why i got that and it's pretty reasonably priced too it's um 39.50 so under 40 dollars for the bundle and it has a lot of these little um uh, stamps, you know, little images and several nice um, sentiments also. This is a two-step and I'll show you that when we're done because I made a card with that. So let me put this off to the side here. And this is the card we're going to make. I was inspired by another demonstrator, Jennifer Roke, 
who I actually met um, and the uh, incentive trip that I got to go on. And um, I love doing ombre um, blending like that, so that's what we're gonna do today. And then this obviously is stamps, and I'll show you some other little technique on the um, putting together that little cinnamon piece. So first, we are gonna start with a piece of basic white that's three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And to get this nice crisp line here, all I did was take a couple of um, post-it notes. And as you can see, I'm trying to line them up. Whoops, I gotta get this straight first. Let's first get our paper straight on, on the grid paper, or the grid mat. And then I'm gonna go over what should be yeah, two inches. So that's about half of it. And this is just a regular old post-it note. And I'm gonna come down from this side. get them to meet in the middle and hold it down, okay? So now we're kind of ready to go here. Are we in place? Yeah. And then we're just gonna use all our purples. So I've got myself um, just one of the small blending brushes. I'm finding that I'm using these small ones way more than the bigger ones. And all I did was start with our lightest, which is our Fresh Freesia. And I decided I was going to put the darkest at the bottom, so the lightest at the top. And then we could just stamp off or tap off a little bit. And then just really lightly, just gently smoothing it. And what's nice about this mat is you could see I could go back and just pick up that extra, that extra ink. And then I just kind of just blendy, 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 blendy. All right, fresh freeze, I think you're done. And then I'm gonna take this, um, can't really see me off camera, I'm gonna put it on camera. And we're just gonna get that excess off of there so I can go on to our, our next color, which is Petunia Pop. Do you guys like the new, um, the new in colors, I'm really enjoying them. Pounce that off a little bit because I don't want it to be too dark to begin with. Oh, that's way too dark. All right. And see, I'm going up into the fresh freesia to try to blend that in a little bit. And since I did get a little blobby there, we're gonna be trying to blend that in a little bit too. All right, now I'm really gonna have to get a bunch of that off because that was a lot of ink. For, oh, I know why, because these are brand new ink pads. That Petunia Pop, I didn't think about that when I was inking up. And this is the little scrubby thing that comes with it. I'm gonna get off a lot of that ink there first. I said something to stamp it up. Um, when they asked how we were liking this whole thing, I said I would take about 20 more of these little things if they wanted to sell those separately from the glass mat. Because I think those are great. All right, next is Highland Heather. And again, starting from the edge. And just gently swirling up into this one so they kind of mix. And down, I think I can get a little bit more of that. Do you guys like to blend? I've been told by some of my peeps that, that it's just a me thing, but I just think it's so pretty. I love doing, you know, ombres of the different, you know, yellows or whatever color purple today 
but I also like doing like sunsets and things like that. Let's get some more of that off here. So as you can tell, I have one that just says purple and I use it for all my purples. So Roz likes the new ink colors, anybody else? All right, and this is the last one. We got some gorgeous grape going down. Must have re-inked that one not too long ago too because that's nice and colorful. What do you guys think? I think I got a lot of purple on there. Purple's my daughter's favorite color too. I'm gonna actually leave that out because we are going to need that purple. So I did already cut out, or excuse me, punch out the label with love because we're gonna use it for our sentiment piece. And I, that's why I left out the gorgeous grape too. Now we can, um, let's see how this is gonna work just on here because I've had pretty good luck with not having to use my um, my piercing mat underneath when I've been using the glass mat. And this is just for our inside piece. So there's a sentiment that says, you are loved in here also. And I thought that would be a nice thing to tell the birthday girl too. I'm assuming girl, because I know a lot of guys who have a favorite purple. Oh, Roz, I hope you're getting better too. All right, I guess we can put this away. Is that a nice, just straight line on there? All right, so now we're gonna get our memento black. And we've got our little butterflies. Oops, in the water a little bit. And you really want to make sure your memento is really inked up well for this to work. Because otherwise you won't be able to see these beautiful butterflies. Isn't that pretty? I'm just gonna put a couple little wingies over on the side here to make it look like we have more butterflies than we do. And then one more for the inside. There we go. And then once again, wipe up my mess and we're done with that messy stuff. Probably should get a dry piece of paper. What, do I have anything that's dry that I could? Hold on. I just don't want to stick our card back in the wet. There we go. That's good. All right. I think we are ready to make our card. So we've got our card base here that is Petunia Pop. That's eight and a half by five and a half. Um, I'm busy. Of course, they decide now that they need me to ask me a question, right? piece of gorgeous grape to mount this on. You guys know too that when I'm done I go to my blog stampwithdrrobin.blogspot.com and then I will put all the little measurements here. I believe the purple is four by five and a quarter. And then let's put that on. Card. 
just love how all these purples pop. Hey Linda, glad you're here too. And on the inside, do you guys have a favorite purple? Oh shit. So, you guys, I have to go answer because I know those are my guys from downstairs, but I'm just going to tell you how I'm finishing this, which is I'm going to take one of these, I'm going to cut it down the middle and separate it, and then I'll have some on the top, some on the bottom, put that on here and put some gems. I'm sorry I have to go, but go check out my blog and it'll all be there. So thanks everybody. Bye-bye.